Hi everyone, I'm DevOps. I was expecting to get uh, someone to laugh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I'm actually a software engineer at InterSwitch. InterSwitch is an African focused company that's on a mission to make transactions happen at the speed of light. Um, I'll be talking about my experience moving to Kubernetes at a previous company I worked with, Flexisaf. Um, so let me take you back some time back when there was a lot of buzz about Kubernetes and I was also um, getting interested in Kubernetes. Then our deployment architecture looked something like this. We had um, all our applications containerized, but they were deployed one container per VM. So that's to scale out any application. What you needed to do was to actually scale out the VMs. As the DevOps each person, I felt that wasn't the best way of using Docker and getting, um, getting value for it. And it also caused our AWS bill to be very, very high. So I started exploring Google Cloud. And because Google Cloud had containerized, I'm sorry, has, had Kubernetes as a service, I really enjoyed and found um, Google Cloud interesting and also came across a Google sponsored Udacity course, which I took because I was interested in Kubernetes on scaling um, your microservices with Kubernetes. Um, because it was Google sponsored, then you could easily use it with your free credits, with your GCP free credits. But at the same time, I was trying to be cautious. I'm like, this is all buzz about Kubernetes. Like, um, do I really need to play around with Kubernetes? Let me not get engulfed in the buzz. Again, I was like, this is cool, boss. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, deep down inside, I wanted to adopt. Then something happened. It was a Tuesday morning. Um, Monday was a public holiday. Uh, so, I so we had three days weekend. I rolled off my bed, picked up my phone, refreshed my office email, and <laughs> uh, Jenkins was down. It was actually crypto jacked, and therefore we had to take the VM, the instance down. There was panic all around. This means that um, our, we couldn't deliver value to our customers, and all our CI pipelines wouldn't build. Every, you know, now you use Jenkins for everything. Then I had a bright idea. Why don't I use this opportunity to adopt Kubernetes? Like, there's a talk by a developer advocate on scaling your Kubernetes with, um, scaling your Jenkins story with Kubernetes on GCP. And I'd be already been playing with GCP, so I'm like, yes, Google Cloud would be supporting my Kubernetes and Docker um, containers like a boss. So yeah, um, adopt Kubernetes. <sighs> so I thought it was going to be something like this. Um, our, um, the VMs just, Gets uh, got scaled up and down. The containers got scaled in and out. Did I? You get the gist. Scale in and out, scale up or no? But it was more like this. Um, the example was two plus two, and the test was so in real life it was more complicated than that. Um, next slide. Yes. Um, so it wasn't. It wasn't like Lego. Um, you, I didn't just plug in my, because I had containerized applications, that doesn't mean you just plug it into Kubernetes and it works. It wasn't like Lego. It didn't ju just fit in there. And also, um, just doing proof of concepts, I had bunched through the whole $300 um, GCP credit I got. So it was expensive. Back to the same thing that we were running away from, the AWS bill. And because we were heavy, on AWS, we had integrated a lot with AWS. It wasn't quite straightforward um, moving some of our deployments to GCP. So we had issues there. And also our pipelines were already built out, which meant that the, the pipeline taking the production, taking the applications to production on AWS was already built. And moving to Kubernetes on GCP meant redoing the pipeline, which meant we're still spending more time on doing that, and we wanted to be back up immediately. Um, but basically, the most um, difficult thing I found was that because we, were, we had containerized monolith, and Kubernetes, in my own opinion, worked best to its um, microservices, um, there were some issues there. 
And that was how I learned this important lesson. <laughs> Thank you very much.